Hey guys, uh, it's Emmanuel here. I just wanna do a video for everyone on here uh, who are my friends on Facebook. And I just wanna say thank you. Uh, usually there's a reason why you have to say thank you or it's my birthday or there's something special happening. But I just wanted to say I'm grateful just for you. Um, you know, I look at your guys' news feed all the time and there's a lot of inspiring things that I see. Uh, changes in your family, uh, improvements in your work, or just happy moments in your life. And just to let you guys know, I do appreciate you. And some of you guys are putting, you know, some some really positive things, even though maybe 80% of your life you're dealing with something. And I know because some of them, you know, I work with you, or I know how it is for myself too, that, you know, there's, in every area of your life, you can't be succeeding. But I just wanna let you know that I think this is gonna be an amazing year for everyone. And I think the reality is, is that I think we're becoming more and more interconnected uh, as we kind of keep in touch with each other. But for those of you, for anyone who's kind of dealing with a lot of stress or dealing with a lot of being overwhelmed or dealing with a lot of issues, um, again, uh, something that I'm planning to do in the future, which is coming soon to Facebook, is I'm gonna start doing body code sessions, just a very random moments. I just wanna just go in there and just, um, heal anybody that's on Facebook. Just anybody who's on there that I might catch you and all of a sudden I'm live. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna ask uh, my higher self, which one should I work with? I'm gonna pick you at random and I just wanna help you out. Uh, it's gonna be at no cost just for something that I can do to, you never know, I might be helping someone with neck pain or maybe you're feeling a lot of anxiety right now and I'm, I'm just gonna see what can I remove to help you out with anxiety. I'm gonna start giving just a lot back more. You know, it's like I've been very blessed in so many ways and you guys, if you're my friends and we've never uh, worked together before, it's like, I might catch you on Facebook. I may do a healing for you while you're at work or when you're with your kids, who knows. But uh, I just wanna tell you that I just appreciate every one of you guys and that I think one of the biggest lessons that I've learned this year is that never take anything for granted. Never take your vision for granted. Never take your body for granted. Never take your, your uh, ability to breathe. Never take... Uh, for granted, the friends I have here on Facebook, family that I have that could be here one day, they're gone tomorrow. Friends here, one day, then tomorrow. And I just don't want ever, ever to take you guys for granted here on Facebook. Uh, your your news feed, all the things you say, the positive quotes, trust me, I'm absorbing it. There's even a lady that I know who consistently sends me a message on Facebook and it's like a positive, godly quote. You know who you are. And sometimes I'm like, yep, yeah, there it is. Yep, there it is again. Yep, there it is. But then sometimes it, it gets to me and I'm like, you know, I need one today. And then boom, there she is. So it's like, you don't know who you're impacting. Just know that there's other people hurting out there. And I just want to share with you that I'm very grateful for you who are out there trying to share positivity or those of you who are trying to share your family experiences. Trust me, you're impacting people more than you think. And I hope you have an amazing blessed life. So I don't know, hopefully this, this touches someone that if you are going through hard times or rough times, the one thing that I have learned is not to think of yourself. Think of someone, think of right now, if you're dealing with depression or anxiety or some issue right now, let's say you and I don't ever meet like in a, in a couple of weeks from now or a couple of months, the one thing that I, I could give to you that I hope this reaches your heart is find somebody on your phone to serve. Text someone, message someone, go off and give a sandwich to somebody down the street do something to get out of your head. That's the one advice that I can give you that it's, it's worked for me is like, I'm, I'm on a hunt to find something where I can like give to someone else so that I'm not thinking of myself. Uh, in savior terms, it's you know uh, him getting crucified and he's saying, please forgive them for they know not what they do. Or it's him looking at his mother Mary and saying, hey, um, this is your new son, John. Uh, John, this is, your mo this is your mother now. Because he was basically saying, I'm gonna be gone, and who's gonna take care of my mom? Who's gonna take, you know, and he cares about his mom more than his own death that's coming really soon. So what I've noticed is how, if he's the author of peace, what's his, what's his modus operandi and to keep happiness is he never thought about himself. He always kept thinking of others. So if he knows that he knew how to acquire peace, we just have to do what he did. So anyway, hopefully that helps someone out here today. I just want to say thank you guys for being you. All right, take care. Bye.